You are also a, a businesswoman, or mm -hmm. you know, and you have some entrepreneurial um, endeavors. So I want to talk about that. Of how do you find time to even do that? But um, I know you launched the uh, online toy um, uh, venture. Yeah. So congratulations! Thank you let's very learn. much. Let's learn toys. Yeah, let's learn toys. Mm -hmm. So what inspired that? Because that's something that I wouldn't have put you in um, to do. Well, um, education. Like I'm passionate about education mm -hmm. and. Um, and it's also just wanting to to give your kids, you know, like I think everyone is like that. We want to give our kids the best we can and the things we we never had. Mm -hmm. And for me, um, it was that. It was also realizing that, um, you know, good education or certain things will go to people who can afford. So in a way, I tried to find a solution. How do I uh, democratize education yes. so that um, each and every kid has access to the best tools that will make them you know, uh, better at whatever. So the 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 business is you no know, with my partner Mampo Brescia. Yes, yeah. Um yeah, so yeah, my bestie. <laughs> my person. <laughs> um yeah, we focus on on, you know, uh you know, gross motor skill, fine yes. motor skill, like, you know, early development of, 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 of children. Yeah. And all the way to kids that are in high school where we have learning resources, things yeah. that they can, you know, use for for, for their projects and uh, supply schools with um, all the tools that they, need. that they need but it's also when you spend time with your kids you want to give them the quality yeah. of time you want to give them the best of everything um, and and because I'm always trying to learn from whatever that I'm yeah. faced with and that also comes as being an actor because uh, no experience is a waste every experience is sort of like a re you, you, you'll never know when you'll play um, you or play him or play her so you know, for me, I'm always learning from every experience. And um, but with kids, you want to make sure that you can give them something that will stretch their imagination and their brain and their, you know, uh, development. Other actors other than South Africans tell the South African story. It goes to the dialect that's used and then um, they don't sound South African. Why didn't we just get a South African to play that role? What is your take on that? <clears throat> you know what, that's... Um it's honestly one of those discussions that we always need to, to have. It's important for us to have so that we have a better understanding. Um, like, for example, Madiba, um, starring Lawrence Fishburne, Orlando Jones, and, um, you know, David Harewood, is a U.S. production. So the money is from the U.S. And yes, they have local partners, but it's a U.S. production. So when you have a U.S production but you're shooting yes it's a south african story um and it is shot in south africa but it is intended for american audience and they come with their money and they come with um their actors that they feel like okay these actors can get the money back for us so it's it's um it's not as easy as you know you know would like it to be and and but there is a solution and so that we can stop you know having those debates and discussions how do we fix that it's making sure that um you know myself as a producer and other producers are the ones that are putting money on these productions and we are making these stories ourselves and then we put the people that we want but the minute you wait for someone else to bring their money then that money might come with terms and conditions and in the film industry those terms mainly are are you putting a face that you know people will recognize and um that is not doesn't mean that the show, show or the movie will be successful it means then there's a bit of security from the person that is bringing the money to say at least i knew that if i put a face of this person then people will respond to that face and we've had so many successes like Tsotsi for example Prezi and I and, and uh, most of the actors that were there were unknown actors and it still did well mm -hmm. so it's got nothing to do with um, but it was a local production Tsotsi and then Madiba is an international production um, Long Walk to Freedom as well they had you know international partners so um, sometimes you just want to reach a wider audience and it's a debate that you know uh, is happening all over the world where people feel like you know things are being taken away from them in the US as well um, you know I'm sure you guys know the statement that Samuel L. Jackson made mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's I think it's frustrating for people to see um, themselves through other people and feel like I could have done it better myself. Mm. It is frustrating, but um, then do it. 
You know what I mean? Then, then, then let's do it. Then let's not stop, and and let's tell whatever stories. And for me, because I've also worked abroad, I need. I'm very, you know, um, I need to be very careful and very sensitive to that debate. Yes. I played um, women from Botswana and United Kingdom. I'm not from there, so I was a foreigner playing a character, and I might be Botswana, you know. Uh, a South African Zwana but like um, it's a different dynamic it's a different dynamic mm. and also it's like okay how are the actors in Botswana feeling are people okay with that and you know as, as long as we understand that certain stories are bigger than our our, our borders and um, and we you know we just need to find a way to also cross the borders and tell stories that we're interested in